Today, ladies and gentlemen, we present the Anime World Tournament. Maito remains as one of the JJK members. Alive. JJK has been kind of dominating. Yuta doing very good in some of his matchups. Those are the other match goes and ends up. Yusuke's trying to go for the upset, but um, it's not gonna be easy regardless, man. Okay. Hit him. Oh yeah, splash him with that oil. Oil that boy up. That boy got that boy got the envelope oiled up. Okay. All right, what's good, everybody? It's Shibai, so we're back here with the Anime World Tournament, man. As you'll see, we have been returning, going crazy with this tournament. As you'll see, only people in the middle that are black are the people, like, even the black middle part, obviously. Yeah, those are the people left. All the people on the right and left side are the people who have been taken out. So this is sad, crazy, man. This is this is starting to get very, very crazy. We're seeing the tier ones definitely are starting to get low. Tier five only has Akaza. Tier four is getting very low as well. Tier three and tier two are very strong, but they're going to lose some people today, obviously, because tier three versus tier two is the first matchup with Yuta against Gogeta. If you guys want to see the bracket, here it is. We got Gogeta versus Yuta, Kimimaro versus Sans, Edward Elric versus Goku, Maito versus Kilua. Yusuke versus Basil, and then Sonami versus Diablo. So this is going to be some crazy-ass fights. Hope you'll enjoy, man, and let me know what y'all want to see. Let's get into it. And before we get into this, I actually made a mistake. It wasn't Sans. It's Saitama. It's going to be Saitama against Kimimaro. Saitama actually beat Sans, so I bet you guys, but let's get into the first fight. This is a tough little map. This is giving me good vibes. Okay. Ojita going against Yuta, man. And let me know, speaking of Dragon Ball Z, man, are y'all excited for this Dragon Ball Sparking, man? I'm going to start playing some Xenoverse 2 on the channel, playing some mods and stuff like that. So let me know if y'all enjoy that because I plan on playing Sparking Zero on the channel as well when it comes around that time. So let me know if y'all are excited for stuff like that, man, because I'm going to be very excited to play Sparking Zero. I don't know what I'm going to do even on and on the channel, but I'm going to be playing that shit for sure, bro. So let me know. Give me, are y'all? I'm gonna be lit playing Spark and Zero, man. Let me know if y'all are gonna be lit. Like, feel me. Let me know if y'all down to watch me too. Feel me, because I, I feel like that's definitely something as an anime fan that I have to check out. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Yusuke's kind of dogging Gojita right now. Like he's kind of violating, bro. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Right now, uh, Gojita's kind of locked in, but Yusuke is locked in as well. And I know. I don't know if Gogeta has a mode, but I know Yuta does. But Yuta's putting him down right now. Yuta has his domain expansion as well as Rika. So it's like, you're kind of losing to boy, my boy Yuta in base, which is kind of a bad look right now. There we go, Gogeta. There we go. Okay, some combos. It said Gogeta limit breaked, I think. I don't know for sure, though. Okay. Yeah, and Yuta's comboing up still, bro. He's still not giving up with the relentless combos. It's not looking too good for Gogeta right now. Okay. There we go. There we go. Gogeta getting some hits in as well. And the question is, is he ready to take on Rika and Yuta, though? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Now we get Rika summoning to the floor. Rika puts, I mean, Yuta puts the ring on. And now you have to deal with both of them. Can you do that, Gogeta? Because you're having trouble with Yuta alone. Okay, there we go. Now we got the sparking, uh, the limit break, or whatever, of Gogeta. Gogeta doing a lot of damage to Yuta right there. Did he just reflect all that? He reflected all that? Oh, that was actually very, very cool. I'm not going to lie. Yuta having, being forced to pull out the domain expansion. Whoa. Whoa. Will this be an upset? Will be this? This thing reflected Yuta's um, angel's ladder. Okay. Okay. And Yuta ends up taking down Gojo. That was a crazy battle. Very, very close. Could have been either or. Uh, now we got Kimimaro tier four versus Saitama tier three. We're gonna have to see how this goes. Um Kimimaro being obviously a lot more serious than Saitama, but Saitama having this loud ass annoying move right here. Okay, Kimimaro countering. Okay. Saitama putting Kimimaro down right now. Okay. Oh yeah, he's running. I'm not gonna lie, he's running Kimaru down right now. It's not looking too good for Kimaru. Has Kimaru been took damage? Yup, serious punch. Oh yeah, Saitama in the 1v1 tournament kind of shows why he's a threat and his team isn't because he gets sold. I'm not gonna lie, that's what it's looking like right now. Uh oh, serious punch. Here we go. That's gonna hurt. Here we go. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yup, there we go. Send his ass flying too. Oh my god. Okay, Kimaru's spike starting coming out of the ground, though, letting him obviously fight a little bit better than he has been fighting. Okay. 
And his spikes are definitely helping him a lot in this in this battle because he's he's getting out of a lot of combos. We're gonna have to see what happens. Okay. Oh, and this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt Saitama a little bit. Yeah, it definitely did just hurt Saitama a little bit. Oh my god, I don't know. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, he sent his ass flying. Oh yeah, Saitama, yeah, he's taking this one home. And that's another one for Saitama chalked up in the books. All right, now we have Edward tier three going against Goku tier two. This is gonna be a good one. Um, We gotta see what happens, obviously. Can Edward take down the man known as, you know, son Goku? It's gonna be hard, but I think with his brother, they can get something done, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be easy though. Goku's one of those characters, he's like anti-jump, you know? He's, he's not gonna let you jump him. Okay. Okay. Nice little combos. What's going on here? What's going on here? Okay. Goku going into it. Oh, he couldn't get off his Kamehameha because Edward gets out of combo sometimes. Yep, there we go. Nice little damage by Goku. And I don't know. Will Edward get Goku to Super Saiyan 1? Oh my god. Goku's locked in right now. Ah. Okay. Let me see something. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, and this is just a bad matchup for Edward right now. This is like the last person he'd want to fight in these type of fights. Okay. Okay. Edward getting some hits in, though. Okay. And I'm not gonna lie, Edward's doing something right now. I don't know what all this rocks and stuff is, but he's doing the damage. The damage he needs is getting done. Okay. Super Saiyan God. There we go. And it's not looking good right now for Edward. Here we go. Yep. Smack up. Smack down. Oh, yeah. GG, if you can't get out of this, bro. It's gonna hurt. This might be game. Yep. Oh, my God. And the Kamehameha sends him home. Tier 2 matchup, which means it's gonna be a crazy-ass battle. Some of the stronger people on the rosters. We got Kilua going against the curse known as Mahito. We got to see what happens. He will comboing up heavy up in the air with Mahito as, as the start match starts. But we got to see where this goes. Oh my god. Okay. And as Mahito remains as one of the JJK members, JJK has been kind of dominating. Yuta doing very good in some of his matchups. Bojo still around. Sukuna still around. Toji still around. They're doing very good in this tournament, you know. I, I can understand why JJK is a very strong contender in the tournament of anime. Because they have their team is just extremely strong. Okay. Kilua doing something here. What is this, Kilua? Okay, a little electricity. Oh, and this Kilua has such tough combos. Like the way he looks and his combos, everything about him is just extremely tough. Okay. Kilua getting some combos on the wall here. I don't know if Jogo's still around for JJK. That's one character. I know that there's many JJK people still in the tournament, but I don't know how Jogo's doing right now. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, here we go. Mito summoning a transfigured human type clone. Okay. And there we go. Kilo will go in Godspeed. This is the Godspeed is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, 0 0.2 second domain expansion. I was about to say Godspeed was was dragging it for a second. Oh, Godspeed was showing us an, another level. Okay, and the shield, the shield his clone is doing is actually. Kind of clutching up for him right now because Kilua can't get through it. Oh, he chased this boy Mahito into the air. There we go. Okay, the clone's not holding shield anymore. Um, 0 0.2 second domain expansion from the clone though before the clone disappeared. And we're gonna see what happens here. Kilua going for some damage. Okay. Kilua comboing up. Oh my god. 0 0.2 second domain expansion. Okay, that's damage. Okay, and Kilua ends up taking it home in an extreme death fight. All right, tier four Yusuke going against tier three Basil. Yusuke is definitely down in this scenario, but we're gonna have to see what happens. Is it possible he could bring this home? We haven't seen any upsets today. You know, everything's going about the right way. So we're gonna have to see if we see one right now. Yusuke having a range and close range feature. We're gonna have to see what he does with it. Right now he's keeping up the range at the, you know, the right way. He went into a demon state early, but um, we're gonna have to see what he does with that demon state. Okay. Okay, Basil doing something there. Oh my god, and the damage there actually just hurt. That hurt. Okay, Yusuke getting out in his close range state, going into the back range again. Very smart by Yusuke. Then he, he transitions back into the close range state. Okay. He should have ranged now, yeah. I was about to say he's pretty far away. Oh, that was a counter? Okay. Basil healing up a little bit. 
Okay. Right now, Yusuke is on the offensive. But, um... Basil has some things going for himself, too, though. Or going for him or herself. I, I don't know. That, that that voice gives me, like, like Haku vibes. I don't know what's going on here. Yo, is Basil, like, auto-countering or something? What's going on? What is that little book thing she has? And then somebody else comes on the stage for a second? That's what it looks like. There we go. Yusuke getting some hits in. Yusuke trying to get close range now. Okay, Yusuke powering up and get stronger ray guns. Yep. Now he gets the damage boost, which will definitely be strong, depending on what he does in this fight. The damage. Okay, there we go. Got Basil transforming. Yusuke still has his mode as well, so we're going to have to see how this match goes and ends up. Yusuke's trying to go for the upset, but um, it's not going to be easy regardless, man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yusuke ranging up a little bit. This is what you need to do against Basil because Basil can get shit going active very, very, very fast. Yusuke trying to back up and get some range, but Basil not really letting him get too much range. Okay, you, yeah, you almost say Yusuke is taking some damage. Basil healing up a lot during this match, I mean. Yusuke trying to get a power up once again. Some good hits in. Into a shotgun. Okay, Yusuke getting hit by the darkness, it looks like. And Basil healing again. Okay, here we go. We got Yusuke going into his final mode. And this is where he gets extremely aggressive. He can range, but he's... Oh, my God. Combo and ray guns from both sides from each other. Okay, Yusuke powering up. Okay. And, yo, Basel healing again. Holy shit, how many heals can this, this guy have? It's crazy. I did not know Basel could heal this many times. I'm gonna have to check that out. Okay. Okay. What is this darkness? There's something going on in the darkness right now. What's going on here? Oh, and I thought Basel might have had that. But Yusuke takes it home with the first upset of the video. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. We got Sonami going against Diablo. This is going to be a scary match. So we got a tier two going into tier three. Um, tier two Diablo, obviously, he, he's he, he's as you know the favorite to win this, but um, Sonami is tier three. We know Sonami's not weak neither. Okay, Sonami very quick. Yeah, Sonami Shinazagawa very very quick, putting in some some nice work in, and he, he's looking like he's trying to make it the next upset this match. Rengoku won a match last video against the upset. Can he get? Can he do the same thing Rengoku did? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Them, them counters, them counters get shit done. Them counters getting shit done. Doesn't look like Diablo's not gonna let it go too easy. He says, if you want to upset, you gonna have to work for it, my boy. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yup, drag him through the ground. Yup, yup. Oh my god, that's nice damage. That's good damage. Diablo does have a mode though, and so does Sonami, so. We're going to have to see something here. Okay. From the air slash into the bottom. Yep, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Sonami getting hits in. Diablo has a mode, I'm pretty sure, but I don't... He's not popping it. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to lie. Diablo is putting in that work on Sonami right now, too, though. They're, they're both definitely putting in a lot of work. Okay, they both need to pop mode right now. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, there we go. The animal popping mode first. Sonami not popping mode here? What's going on? Okay, Sonami with some combos. Okay, Sonami. There we go. Sonami going mode now. Okay. Hit him. Oh, yeah. Splash him with that oil. Oil that boy up. That boy got, that boy got Diablo oiled up. Okay. Nice little damage. We got Diablo in the corner right now. Here we go. There we go. Diablo doing something back now. It's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Oh, that's good damage. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yo, this man just pulled off the biggest clutch with 1% HP for the final fight of the video. Oh, shit. That's crazy. As y'all see, Sonami just brought that home in upset or Demon Slayer, wow.
but like i said y'all y'all made the you feel me the, the rankings keep voting in the discord where y'all want everybody to be these are the matches for the next video alibaba versus naruto blackbeard versus minuto silver versus goshida jogo versus sinbad and then we're getting on to the next bracket which is going to be straight crazy fights like megami versus toka and thor versus your watch so i hope you'll enjoy that man and we out of here